Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crypto and Necrans. Uh, why do I always do that with the mistake with the diamonds? Anyway, Crypto and Necrodans, uh, Amplified Early Access, Teleport Enemies, so where we are playing now as Diamond, who can move the act and, like, which is a really intriguing idea, I think. Can even attack diagonally. That can become a really useful feature. See? Damn, I did that wrong. My bad. Well, we're going through some one again. Nice, that works really well. You can attack diagonally. Like, I can get used to that. It might also help dealing with freaking skeletons. A key. Hmm. Nope, not in there. Well, we can hear the uh, song with the uh, shopkeeper, so that'll be easy. Man, that's such a useful ability, being able to do that. I've got a familiar. Which I'm guessing summoning a rat that will help us. Oh, we yeah, they ignore terrain, but we get damaged. Also, we've got the carrot now we're here. Uh, left, right. Yeah, let's head down to the next floor. Man, that diagonal move is so handy. I think one a bit of shovel. Let's try the familiar. Oh! Interesting. I think we're gonna grab the shades for more damage. Although now we are unable to see, um, identify our enemies just by looking at them. They are covered in shadow, I think. As we need to recognize their shapes. Damn, I did that wrong. Slow. Oh. Sure. Oh, we got another familiar. So we have two familiars now, that's cool. Oh, we can even jump through uh, areas that are like that. Jesus. That's handy. Okay, so we are, it's uh, down here this way we have to go. Oh, a health potion. Nice. Man, I like the diagonal ability. Oh, the spear. Yes, please. So now we can attack two tiles. Oh my god, it works with the spear diagonal with two, in two tiles. Man, this character can become really handy. Damn, why did I do that? Well, we got straight down to the boss then, and we get a penalty for jumping down that. But I think it'll be an issue because we can beat the boss pretty easy. Welcome! Breaking death metal. There we go, we got him. Well, that was easy. Let's uh, see what else we can buy. Just the spell book, I'm guessing. Yep. Well, down to floor two then. That's diamonds. See how this goes. Oh, he doesn't even have a unique, um, a cloned, a doppelganger yet. Ow. Gain enemies. Yes. I want that broadsword. Alright. Oh, 
Uh, it's so complicated, you have to do different in the buttons for the, uh, what's it called, for the uh, items. Oh, we got a long sword now. Hello. Ah, we could have gotten that coupon earlier. There we go. That worked pretty well. Man, it's gonna suck when I no longer play as Diamond and I need to get used to not being able to move diagonally or attack diagonally. Kind of forgot the bomb here. Up and down, that's what it is now. Right, we'll get the health potion, and we'll head down to the next floor over here. Okay, here we go. If you're wondering how we can see everything, it's because we got the circlet for doing that shrine that makes everything more difficult. So we can know we know where all enemies are and what they are. Man, he does that much? Jesus. He takes that much to kill. I did I guess I did pick that uh thing. Okay, so we need 400 gold so we can save the guy we saw up there. So we need to go a little bit heavy on the killing. This rescuing a guy could be really interesting to see what we get out of it. And we are not affected by his spell because we got the boots. A transmute spell. Uh, let's try. Not sure what that did. Well, I'll, I'll keep grab the ring a piece. You don't have a ring after all. Nice. Okay. I did that wrong. I could just have attacked him by that diagonally. Ow. Well, we almost did. This is not good. Ah. Nothing to eat. Oh, we know where there's a gem now. Two gems, right up. We almost did. Damn! Oh, that went that went very well though. So let's just oh, we can spend more gems. Jesus, how many things can we spend gems on? Throwing stars. Ooh. Well, back into zone two, I guess. Damn, I don't have a long sword. That's right. Yeah, I'd rather have that. Oh god. Oh god. That didn't exactly go well, did it? Not a good start for me, though. There we go, that works. And I know you're a double ganger. Got you. Ooh, Frost Jump! I can make that. Ooh. And armor! Thank you very much, sir. It only allows one. Well, at least we got the, some use out of it. Let's see if there's another enemy. Well, a uh, weapon, rather. Uh, I got the familiar. 
Thank you, familiar. So now we have a little rat to help us. And an apple. Good. I just need to figure out where we have to go. Probably down here. We are finding it. We are meeting a lot of doppelgangers today. That went very well. Damn. At least the armor we have is helping a lot. Well, next floor is. Oh god, it's a dragon. Why do I always get the dragons? Please be a weapon. Blasting helmet, I suppose, works. Actually, the sunglasses will probably keep. So I really want that key so we can rescue that guy. Yes, we need a little bit more. So we can grab the sunglasses again and go out and hunt for more golds. Oh! Oh, we got a cutlass! Nice, we can go back and get the key and rescue that guy. Then we can see what, what he does. Well, we can see exactly what he is due to the sunglasses. At least we got a better weapon than a knife now. Thank you. See you in the lobby. I suppose we'll see what he is later. He's swinging his sword around a lot. I think it's a sword anyway. Okay. Third floor. Oh god, it's not going well. Well, that actually worked out quite better than I expected. I've got a familiar. I mean, a bomb to get in. Let's uh, return to the lobby and see what we unlocked. This guy? Weapon map. Ooh. I'll let you swap weapons for training. Huh. Switch weapons for training. Oh, I see. Okay. That's nice. Well, there's been another episode of Let's Play Crypto Necrancer Amplified. Early access. With me, Matt. I'll see you next time.